Welcome to a use case demonstration of the API Manager. The topic covered in this session will be building a Jenkins CI/CD pipeline with API Manager. We will demonstrate the first approach. Let's look at the business use case. APIs have become a de facto for connecting apps, service, and data. An organization can have multiple environments such as development, testing, QA, staging, and production, each with its own instance of API manager. Therefore, the APIs need to be available in each environment after developers specify the required conditions. Manually promoting API between environments is a tedious, error-prone, and time-consuming task. This is drastically reduces an organization's productivity. Most of the time, cloud-based solutions are maintained and managed by the cloud vendors with the vendor lock. But the on-prem systems require more attention from you. Those systems are maintained and managed by the teams within the enterprise due to budget constraint. And some organizations are preferred to have open source solutions. Let's see the high-level architecture. WSO2 API Manager addresses the issue of API automation by providing a platform agnostic developer centric solution. WSO2 API Controller, API CLI tool, plays a key role in the automation pipeline. It can seamlessly integrate environment related configuration and also create API projects from Swagger Open API specifications, opening a gateway to fully automated API deployment with only a few steps. With the power of flexibility tooling, WSO2 API Manager is ready to address modern requirements for automating API deployment. You need to install Jenkins from www.jenkins.io. You could use various forms of downloadable artifacts such as Docker Instance, Vo Archive, and list goes on. For this demo, I'm using a Vo Archive. Once the Jenkins server start, you have to set up admin user. Then you need to log into Jenkins and install npm node.js plugin and human globally in your Jenkins server, which is required for Postman test. You need to download and set up WSO2 API Manager 3.2.0 For the demo, I am using dev environment with port offset 0 and prod environment with port offset, port offset 1 Download and set up WSO2 API Controller 3.2.0 version to your Jenkins server and the developed machines Finally, you need to register environments using API controller commands. Please refer to the commands listed below. As depicted in the diagram, the overall experience of the developer first CI/CD approach as follows. First, write the open API specification and test script. Second, initialize an API project. Third, update API data in the API project. Fourth, Define the environment specific data. Fifth, commit the API project. Finally, trigger Jenkins pipeline through GitHub hooks. Then, pipeline will start to run through deploy artifacts to dev environment. Then, upon success, running and asserting the test script. And finally, if all goes well, deploy to the production. We will see the demo next. So, let's see the demo. Top right, the backend is running, which is a Spring Boot. Middle, where the API Manager a dev environment is running. Down right, the production instance is running. And if you look at the left side, where left side top, where the Jenkins for archive is running. 
and uh, top middle I'm using ngrok to expose the locally hosted Jenkins on a web because I won't use GitHub web hooks. This is the Swagger contract or open API specification I will use to generate the API. Now I'm going to open up API template. So you will see that this API template having the API context definition such as the API name, the context path, the available tiles and the relevant information that is required for API publish. So now I will use following command to generate the API from the open API specification. So where I will pass the API template context and the open API definition and I will provide the API name and I will click enter. So you will see that the API will be initializing. Then I will commit the API to the gate. This is the project I have committed to the Git. I'm opening the API param YAML, which is defined the environment specific variable. The YAML file basically used by the API controller during the API import process. Let's have a look at the Postman test script. This sample JS test script was to be used in Postman. I have used API generated in previous section to design the test scenario. Our goal is to run the test script within the pipeline using Postman CLI collection runner known as Human. Let's walk through the Jenkins pipeline. You will see that the pipeline has triggers, tools, environment, setup and stages. Here I am setting up three stages. First, preparing the environment such as pulling the artifacts from the GitHub. Prepare UAT environment where I am uploading the API artifacts using API CLI command. Next, it will run the test script. Then, if test is successful, deploy to the production. And then clean up the environment. After that, I will log into Jenkins admin panel. Navigate to items. Select the pipeline and click OK. Then add description, scroll down and paste the script that you have prepared and save. Now navigate to manage Jenkins, click manage credentials and add GitHub credentials and API manager environments admin username and password. Go to the settings of the GitHub project, navigate to webhooks, set the ngrok URL that was generated. Open the APM project and change the API params YAML and commit to the GitHub. Once the project commit, you will notice that the GitHub webhooks triggers the Jenkins pipeline. Log into the dev environment, the API deployed. You will see that the environment specific parameters reflect under the API metadata. Similarly, log into the production environment. You will notice that the changes that we have done reflected there as well. Finally, let's summarize what it means to have CICD pipeline in your organization. Automation provides a greater management flexibility between the artifacts with less human interaction, which allows faster delivery to end users. From management point of view, there's no vendor locking where you can design the workflows to your budget. Hope you have 
enjoyed the short demo. Happy learning. Thank you.